Wow, Hillary is the first person to get started on the word problem. Thank you, Hillary. Elton is quick too. Thank you, Elton, for being ready. Thank you, Caitlin. Jocelyn's almost there. Vincent is reading it. Tell if you will add or subtract. There are 14 birds in the pond. There are eight geese. The rest are ducks. How many ducks are in the pond? Okay. All right. Got it. As soon as you get your answer, make sure you look, you think to see if your answer makes sense or not, okay? Once you're done, don't just put your marker away and say you're done. Think to see if your answer makes sense. Okay, you know geese are a type of bird and ducks are a type of bird. Okay, So they're both types of birds. Okay, let's go over this, boys and girls. Read it with me. Ready? Go. Tell if you will add or subtract. Solve. There are 14 birds in the pond. Okay, stop. Can you visualize that? Yeah. 14 birds at the pond. You ready? Okay, moving on. Go. There are eight geese. So eight of those 14 are geese. Can you visualize that? Okay, moving on. The rest are ducks. How, ready, go. How many ducks are in the pond? Okay, so we have 14 birds all in the pond. Eight of them are geese. The rest of them are ducks. So how many are ducks? Six. Hmm. Six. Six. Show me. Okay, board's down. Look up here. Let's see. Let me see if I can draw a picture. Sometimes drawing a picture helps me understand the problem better. Let's see. Hang on. We can draw different pictures, right? Here's one picture I can draw. 14 birds in a pond. So I can draw a pond and I can draw 14 birds. Let's see. Do I need to take time and draw 14 beautiful birds? No, I'm just going to draw circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14 birds. There are 8 geese. 8 geese. So that means 8 of them are geese. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to cross them out of their geese. Okay, this one's a goose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those are the geese. The rest are ducks. How many ducks are in the pond? Six. Well, if the rest are ducks, let's count it up and see. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are ducks. So that means if the rest of them are ducks, that means there are six in the pond. Okay? Did anybody draw a different picture? I saw different pictures. Okay. Ashley, you want to bring yours up here? What kind of picture did you draw? Oh, look what Ashley did. What does she do? The whole, whole part. Whole part, part. Yes. It says there are 14 birds in the pond. So Ashley put 14 up here because that's the whole, right? That's the total. That's the missing part. Yes. And we know one part. We said eight of them are the geese. So let's see. I think you're missing some dots here. That would be eight. Eight are the geese. The rest are ducks. How many are ducks? That we don't know. So what kind of problem is this, boys and girls? It's a missing part. We know the total. We know one part. We have to find the other part. It's a missing part problem. So how do we find that missing part? What can we do? What can we do? We can subtract. Anytime we have to find the missing part, we subtract. So that's what Ashley did. She took the total. She took away one part to find the other part, the missing part. Good job, Ashley. Does anyone have a different picture? No. Oh. no. Raise your hand if you also did a missing part, whole part, part picture. I saw a few of those. Okay, good. 
Okay, some of you, I noticed, did this. 14 plus 8, okay? Your answer, when you added that up, you got 22. Would 22 make sense, boys and girls? Why not? Because it makes a bigger number. It makes a bigger number, and what number? This is 22, right? How many birds do we have at the pond? 14. So if we have only 14 birds, would it make sense that 22 of them are ducks? No. Would that make any sense? No. no. So if Exactly. So when you always solve, after you solve, I don't want you to just put your marker away and say, okay, done. I need you to think about your answer. See if your answer makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, then something is wrong. Okay? All right. Any questions on this one? All right. Okay, today we will be working on adding a two-digit and a one-digit number on paper. Okay. On paper, I'm saying on paper because yesterday we spent the whole day doing it with blocks, right? For example, let's review. Yesterday you had a two-digit number and you had to add a one-digit number to it. Thank you, Stephanie, for looking up here. So what we did yesterday was first we started by building it, right? If the number is 28, how many tens do I need? 28. Two, two tens. 10, 20. 28, how many ones do I need? Eight. Let me put up eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now I have to add five more ones. So let me add five more. Ready? One, two, I used up all my spaces. I'll just put it down here now. Three, four, five. Okay, so my answer would be 28 plus five is two tens and 13 ones. Is that what? correct? No. What's wrong? You forgot to regroup. Jocelyn. Yes. Why do I have to take away 10 ones? I have more than 10 ones. Can I write two digits here in the ones place? No. So I don't have room, so I have to. What's that word that we learned yesterday? Regroup. I'm going to take the 10 ones, and 10 ones is the same thing as 110, right, boys and girls? It's equal. Okay? So instead of the 10 ones, it's okay, just leave it there. Instead of the 10 ones, I'm going to change it. I'm going to trade it for this 110. I'm going to put it over here in the tens place. All right. Did I change the problem, boys and girls? Did I change the number of blocks up here? No. All I did was trade it, so it's still the same, right? I'm going to put it over here. Now, let's count it up. Ready? How many? How much do I have all together? Ready? Go. 10. 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. My total is three tens, three ones, 33. Okay, do you remember that from yesterday? Okay, let's take a quick break and listen to the Student Council News and then we'll come back to this.